Hello, um, here is a short note for myself and to the listener on artistic contemplation and its time. Written some time ago, a month ago. And uh, this way I can take a note and also share. Here it comes. What kind of choosing is this? Is it random, arbitrary? Is there a memory to it? What determines the fate of choosing? Mudra, because of being chosen. Mudra is a better word here than gesture, mostly a bodily disposition defined as such, could also suffice in terms it universalizes, which is the dimension of the question here. The question that I raised, what kind of choosing is this in, the, in terms of artistic choosing? Choosing is acting, requires to relate in a form, thus to temporarily make a one-dimensional choice out of Duchamp's fourth dimension, still residing in this dimension through the chosen, though the chosen does not care really where it resides by having a body that includes the temporal accumulation aggregation in relation to the beginningless viewable relations of its formation viewable in one's mind through an imaginary drawing which obviously has no end but we only view as a contemplation to be able to somehow verbalize it this way to gross language this way is dualistic way on by referring this to the levels of speech um, dualistic dialogue for example A new format in publishing as composing brings us to a possibility in understanding levels of speech, sets a relationship between theater, acting, and composing by understanding nature of choosing, which relates to attempting to understand a logic in choreography in a way brings light to the architecture of improvisation and artistic revelation in such a way that contemplation must be a part of its logic namely artistic contemplation which requires its own time. So this is a time that knows itself. It is not a clock time, but it's a time of the will of creation 
coming from the free will that which creates. So it has its own hearing, its own acting, its own contemplation. It is not happening in the realm of the perception of a mundane time. It is more of a time that, that composes, which does not really exist in clock time. So it's not a beginning an ending type of time, but it is time that it is beyond time. So not uh, ruled by the time, but uses time aspect creatively as a tool for manifestation, which is composed um, sound and its appearance. There is a lot to say on that, so I will, I have highlighted time here, that's why a little explanation. And it, so therefore the, the involvement, the, the, the way time is being approach to um, contemplated upon or used by is much like a yogi and an artist can travel likewise to, to different worlds which are not successive, which are not successive and the journey manifests thus as synchronously. This is also a uh, choosing through, through a choosing all right we cannot force an artist to do so so in a word you can't teach that you cannot say okay now you sit and do it's not a practice uh, to achieve something or um, for some type of use no it's like life an artist is not busy with this in daily life of artistic practice so it is a that means to say it's not a dualistic uh, practice it is an embodiment and it is th through that embodiment uh, it is also an uh, offering of the uh, a physical appearance of a body that and a, a laboratory or a studio or a means that is being used to create they become one body and its surrounding likewise okay let's continue life is from the spectacle of creation always an artist and thus it is always a research uh, arena it's a laboratory of practice which leads vertically making its space which leads okay life is from the spectacle of creation always uh, to an artist and thus it is always a research a laboratory uh, and for practice also uh, that which leads which leads vertically making its space so the synchronicity of it unpronounced embedded in the heart of the artist it is the torchlight in space of endless possibilities the body mind of the artist thus in this process is the only fundamental limit then uh, comes uh, his surrounding environment and sound of choices he makes uh, a kind of acting a kind of act acting uh, that must be as the body resides on the stage, so he must act. That is the reason that it's a kind of acting, because it is on a stage of life, let's say. So uh, there's this specific uh, uh, and unique qualities that has made the body and continues making so, and um, so taking the part of endless 
dimensional uh, beginningless agencies so fields part of its own part in the act so a must act act but artist other than materialist stands an asana in the space of pluridimensions with a sole purpose of composing. Okay. This due to the fact that he has appeared as body and mind. So one's uh, appearance of body and mind, and then what, what to do? It's what to do is composing. The truth, it is hard in truth, it is hard to assign a shape to such an entity of uh, with self with such self awareness. So breathing time with such awareness means composing. Okay, that was it then. Thank you.